Season 5 of The Boys could not come soon enough thanks to the epic finale of Season 4. But before I do get into it, this is your spoiler warning for the whole season. If you haven't watched it, do go watch it. And if you have, you guys are the real heroes. So the first thing is A-Train survived. Let's go ladies and gentlemen, our one true hero A-Train has managed to survive the season despite becoming good. In this episode, we see the culmination of the story arc that was being built up over the past few episodes. And it isn't the soup virus. Instead, it is Homelander's goal to take complete control over the US government. Now, there are many similarities between what's going on in the real world and in the show, especially some recent events. You probably know what I'm talking about, but it is purely coincidental. We see that the virus has eventually caught up to Billy and he's now on the verge of death. Since he spends most of the episode in the hospital ward besides the end, but I will get to that later on. He is also trying to amend his relationship with Huey and the boys and even Ryan, who is fresh off getting yelled at by Homelander. But I am shocked Homelander hasn't snapped at Ryan yet properly, but I guess he is trying to be a good dad and doesn't want to kill his son since he is doing this for his son in a way. Newman then gets outed as a soup, which ruins both her and Homelander's plans to take over the White House, showing once again that Homelander's impulse and lack of thinking causes problems and he still hasn't learned this lesson. This scene also explains how Marie was able to survive Homelander's blast and it likely has something to do with her ability to control blood and reduce the impact of the beam in that area. Homelander also has no regard for Firecracker or her well-being showing that he only really wants her for her own. She's also ill from taking drugs to make milk perhaps meaning that she will die in season 5 because of it. Firecracker also mentions Soups being ready to raid the White House, which is something that happens in the comics, or along those lines. Huey proposes to the shapeshifter, meaning that he technically is now engaged to the shapeshifter, who's also dead. The shapeshifter also mentions how that they don't even know what they originally looked like because they have taken too many people's memories and that they don't know which is theirs, which is quite sad when you think about it. The fight in the bunker shows Annie come to finally accept that she isn't the hero she thinks she is, and freeing herself from this burden also allows her to activate her powers. We then see the purge of war employees. Anyone who's even seen the slightest start on Homelander or the Seven is killed, which leads to Ashley juicing up on V. But we don't actually see what happens because of it or what her powers are. Frenchie and Kimiko finally reconcile and get together after four whole seasons of waiting for it. It feels good. Ryan then gets blasted with the truth by Grace and he can't take it so he accidentally ends up killing her. But this time he feels less guilty about it compared to when he killed the guy at the start of the season. And this is finally what makes Billy go on demon time as he doesn't care what happens to Ryan now. Or Joe doesn't, but Joe is Billy. Despite A-Train having survived the season, Newman doesn't and she gets ripped in half by Billy's weird virus tentacle thingy that's inside of him. And it caught me so off guard. Plus my man Huey just got off finding out that his girlfriend was a shapeshifter and just let his dad die a few days ago. And now his friend who had come to him asking for help is also dead. And the worst part is that her daughter is being sent to the Red River Institute, which from the two previous alumni we know isn't a good place. Homelander now has complete control of the US government, meaning that it's now a full dictatorship and this was part of Sage's plan all along. We however don't find out what phase 2 of her plan is and I'm still hoping that it's to take down Homelander. Then at the end of the episode the heroes are, well you know what I'll just let Castillo take over. Big man thing yeah, it's not looking good Bev. The ending reminds me a lot of the ending to season 1 which unlike the latter two seasons shows the boys being fugitives and on the run which is kind of what's happening here. Kamiko finally speaks, I really thought that Frenchie would awaken from Kate's spell after hearing this but she is just too strong. Starlight then flies off after having regained her powers and Butcher is most likely hunting down Ryan. The post credit scene however is the biggest reveal yet and it shows Homelander about to reawaken Soldier Boy since now that Homelander himself has had a jab at this parenting stuff he might understand why Soldier Boy considers him a failure. But this episode gets a 9 out of 10 and I'm genuinely hyped to see what Gen V season 2 will bring ahead of the final season and overall this season gets a 7.5 out of 10. I would say this season is second or third best out of all of the seasons of the show with season 3 being number 1. Season Season 2 being along the same line so it could alternate between these two and season 1 being last. I think that this season as a whole took a while for it to find its footing but once it did things were absolutely crazy. But don't forget to comment below your thoughts on the season and subscribe whilst you're there.